Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm trying out this game again. I uh, kind of wanted to give it a second chance. Uh, I actually changed my controls a little bit, and uh, I mapped uh, the shot button or the fire button to uh, the second dodge button on L1. Uh, I don't know why the hell they put <laughs> two dodge buttons in this game. Uh, out of all the weird decisions they made with this game that a lot of people criticize it for, uh, that's the one that's talked about the least. <laughs> There's like no need to have two dodge buttons. Uh, they both do the exact same thing, and it's context sensitive with the angel and demon mode. So, uh, I'm trying it out. Uh, I want to use, utilize the charge shots um, in my combos and in just overall combat. Uh, much like Devil May Cry 4, uh, you may remember my DMC4 videos. Uh, I was one of the first people to map the, uh, the shot button with Nero uh, to the right trigger. Uh, I got a lot of complaints about that. <laughs> Somehow people thought I was cheating or using automatic just for changing the fucking fire button. I don't, I don't know when that was considered cheating, but <laughs> um, if you didn't play Devil May Cry 4 or you were not uh, a Nero uh, veteran, uh, that basically like tripled his damage output. <laughs> uh, from what I understand, uh, with Dante here, uh, it's pretty much the same deal. Uh, I actually don't have this move unlocked, so uh, I'm just going to go to the try mode. But uh, once you have this maxed out, oh, hold on, it hits them multiple times. Now the problem with that is with the default controller scheme, uh, it's almost impossible to hold down uh, the shot button while you're actually in combat. But uh, now that I have it mapped on L1, uh, I can combo into it whenever I want. Like that. Pretty badass. Um, I don't quite have it down yet. Uh, the control system in this game is, or scheme in this game, is already really awkward as it is. <laughs> so uh, I just kind of single handedly made it even more awkward. But uh, once I get the hang of this, uh, I want to revisit this game. Uh, I mean, it's got a lot of problems, don't get me wrong, but uh, uh, there is some depth to be found in it. And um, I think being able to utilize the charge shots will make uh, Dante a force to be reckoned with. Uh, also, I wanted to announce, uh, if you haven't noticed the pattern by now, uh, I am mostly doing PC videos, <laughs> uh, at least for the time being, during the summer. Uh, my living situation sucks during the summer. Uh, I have no air conditioning. <laughs> uh, it, um, it peaked at like almost 100 degrees last summer. So, uh, I tend to avoid turning on my console because it makes it hotter in here. But uh, rest assured, uh, once some new console games come out that I'm actually interested in recording, uh, first and foremost is going to be uh, Tales of Zelia 2. Uh, I will return to console videos. I, I will still do them intermittently. Uh, it's just not going to be as often as you guys are used to. So once again, uh, I'll show off the charge shot. Yeah, I still don't quite have it down yet. Uh, it's very awkward. I may have to tweak it a little bit. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.